my YouTube channel and another episode of the Hot Turf. You're welcome. And if you're new here, thanks for coming around. Thanks for I'm so grateful. I'm thankful. Thanks for clicking that link. I'm so grateful. Thank you very much for coming around. And please do ensure you subscribe to this channel so you get notified when other videos are uploaded. Thank you very much. And for our subscribers, I'm saying a very big thank you. I'm saying very big thank you. Thank you for staying around. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching my videos. I'm very, 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 very much grateful and thankful. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, so to, uh, so today I'll I'll be discussing to you or now that I'm done with high school, what's next? Now that I'm done with secondary school, what's next? Before then, I want to say a big congratulations to our excellent students who just wrote their uh, YF paper. I'm wishing you success in your result. I'm wishing you success in your results, okay? And uh, a big and hearty congratulations to you and a higher level in Jesus' name, amen. And you, you, watch, you might be watching this video and you're like, how is this related to me? Like, how is this of help to me? Like, I'm past this stage and why is she saying this? Please kindly help me share this video with your younger ones and your friends. It will be of immense benefit to them. And even to you, you wouldn't know. So please help me share the video with your, your younger siblings and then your friends. Thank you very much. Okay, so back to the topic for today. Now that I'm done with secondary school, what's next? Like your younger siblings might be at home and they're like, ah, oh god, I'm tired, oh, what can I do? Ah. So those questions, I'm here to answer your question. Now that you're done with secondary school, what next? Number one, most importantly, I want you to find God. It's very important. If you've not found God, please find God. It's important. And there are just three steps. Just three easy steps. As simple as A, B, C. A, you accept Him as a Lord and personal Savior. B, you believe that He has accepted you and that He will accept you as his son and as his daughter, no matter how far you must have gone, you will definitely accept you. And that number three, you confess all your sins to God. You confess all your sins. I tell God, well, I'm sorry for all I've done in the past. Confess all your sins to God. Those are the three easy steps you can find God. Number three, I want you to um, spot out your talents, your gifts, your potential, spot it out, and then begin to work on it now. What your talent, if it is writing, Singing. I thought you, you, there's some people that they can sing, but they don't know. It. They don't know. You know, you've been so busy for over the years in secondary school, and then you wake up by 6 a.m., by 5 p.m., you are back. There's no time. So now this is the time, like in this waiting period, you have all the time. So it's important at this time that you spot up. You to spot out your time. What am I good at? And what am I good at? That is, you have to find purpose in life because with God, it makes everything easy for you. You find purpose in life and you begin to spot out your talents, your gifts, your potentials. Okay, I think I'm good at writing. Okay, and then if you have an Android phone, you can develop yourself more on writing and even open a, a blog account and begin to write things, educated things like, and then if it's singing, if it's Drawing, you spot out your talents, your gifts, and your potentials, and then you begin to work on it. Develop yourself, number three. Develop, update yourself. Don't just sit down and fold your hands and begin to watch movies all day. Don't, no, don't do that. Develop yourself is very important. Update yourself. Develop yourself. You can follow that work organizations. If there are any organizations around you, or maybe the one close close to your area yeah, that, that you are interested in, you can volunteer for it, and then you can add that to your CV. Okay, you can add that, add that to your CV. Develop yourself. Go for skill acquisition program. Very important. It's not just enough to get a certificate, a secondary school certificate, and then straight to the university or to the college. No, get a vocational uh, 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 certificate. It's important. Vocational skill. It's very important. Like um, tailoring. You know, there are many vocational skills. There are many, many different kind, different vocational skills. Get a vocational skills. Get something doing. You understand, get something doing, concentrate on your passion and begin to work out your passion. What am I interested? Okay, I think I'm good at drawing. Okay, I think I should know more. Then you now go into that area. Okay, ah, I love sewing clothes, I love design. Hey, oh, I should go into this. Oh, events, management and decoration, interior decoration. You begin to, you begin to work on them. If what you do is a computer, oh, I want to go into web design and all this. You know, develop yourself, work on yourself. It helps you to become better and be open to new experiences. Don't just um, stay on in your shell. Don't just lock yourself there. 
be open to new experiences, add value to your life and to your community around you. Let let's people know in your community that yes, there is somebody here. You care to add value to your community, add value to people around you. And then you also help your immediate, as in your siblings, also help them to become better. Find your habits. I, I came to realize that um, an ideal person is a devil worship. When you are when you're ideal, the devil can use it to begin to do, begin to do different kind of things. Before you do it, different evil thoughts, negative thoughts begin to come to your mind. Like, you begin up and then you are glued to your phone 24 hours in fact, Phone addiction. Like, you are glued to your phone 24 hours, 7. You are glued to your phone. And then when you try and stop doing pornography, masturbation, all that, and then it's not helping you. You understand? So instead of you, you can read your Bible. Yes, you can read your Bible daily. You can build yourself more spiritually and begin to pray for your life. Come closer to God. These are ways that you can help yourself in this waiting period. Now that you're done with secondary school, these are the things that you can find before going into college. You can also look for or what to do like um my myself when i come out of secondary school i actually um look for five days of uh, school and i was teaching there and i was saving some money for myself and it's in fact it's built it's it's really, it's really helped me it's, it's helped me so you can do something like that so you can do something like that as in just build yourself up rebuild yourself don't just stay idle and begin to play okay and i'm done secondary school nobody's waking me up now mom, no, my mom is not saying yeah no, now wake up oh it's time for morning devotion no you can't in fact no, 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 my, she might not bother you doing that and that's as if you observe morning devotion in your home so now it's time for you to come closer to god like okay observe your uh, quiet time not be doing this let's say you be so you wake up in the morning by six o'clock then you're off school you come back if, if not be doing that this is the right time for you to do this consecrate your life unto god develop your your talents, develop your talent, your skills, your potentials, your gifts, begin to work on it. And I tell you, when you try all the things I've mentioned, your life will definitely be better. So, work on yourself today, don't be idle. I think it's also a point I've mentioned to make you be a better person and I've answered your questions already. Yeah, so thanks for watching. And um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Yeah. And if you're watching and your elder brother has not subscribed to this channel, please tell him or her to subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. See you next time on the Hard Talk. Bye.